Hey everybody, welcome to today's session. In today's session, we're going to go over the, the few currency pairs that are on my watch list, see what potential trading opportunities we have for this coming week and how we can take advantage of them. So if that sounds interesting to you, please do stick with us until the end. Don't forget to like this video and share with a few friends that you'll be able to also find value in it. So we're going to start off with JPYX from the weekly perspective. Um, obviously, since last week, I told you guys um, JPYX this week will be bearish. And that's exactly what happened as prices kept on pushing lower, right? Now, the trend is still bearish. However, if we look at it, we can actually notice that prices have actually reached on this kind of a strong weekly support structure that's also a monthly structure by the way so from here i'll be anticipating to see prices kind of reverse this coming week so it might be a double week like prices will finish this bearish move and then once they reach on this structure here they'll um begin to be bearish and i'll be anticipating bullish i'll anticipate them to push until they reach yay high so that's what i'm anticipating to see happen on jpyx this coming week um that's from the daily that's from the weekly perspective from the daily perspective this is how it is so i'll be anticipating to see prices finish this bearish rally and then pump until they reach somewhere up here now how will this be playing out for other jpy pairs we got car jpy you can see it has already started to lose momentum it's still bullish but yeah it's losing momentum so with car jpy i'm not really looking for it to keep on pumping higher as it has already reached one of the highest points if we look at it from a monthly perspective we can zoom in you can see that right so prices are now somewhere up here now if you look at it from this three month perspective oof, it gives us a different picture i didn't really look at that um you can see how prices crazy bullish so now with car gpy on three months i'll be anticipating to see them tap that now let's look at it from a monthly perspective because obviously we understand like that's a retracement from the jpyx right so prices i'll anticipate them to pump until they reach here whereas that's where it is on the jpyx that's the lowest low so i'll anticipate to see prices push to somewhere here give us a retracement and then give us that so that's my view on car jpy from the monthly perspective right now on the weekly you can see how it looks like right i'm anticipating to see prices reach here retrace and then give us that final pump right daily That's how it is. Right here. That will be our final impulsive move. Right. Now we got Euro JPY. Prices are already on this resistance, but obviously um, we are still looking to see a little bit of a push. So I'm anticipating to see prices pump perhaps until here. On this next high. right or somewhere there so it's either this or that but i'll be taking my profits right here all right and then from there obviously we'll be looking for some kind of retracement until somewhere where this trend line of broken before we actually look for prices to create um some new high highs so that's what i'm anticipating to see happen on euro jpy um based off jpyx right okay now we got dxy 
Now, if you look at it from a weekly perspective, you can actually see that prices are having a really hard time to break this resistance structure where they're at. You can see this resistance structure was tested multiple times in the past. It's a strong structure. Last last week, failed to break. Last week, failed to break. Prices even pissed above it, but then I rejected. So this coming week, I'm anticipating to see prices reverse all the way until somewhere down here. And obviously, since you understand that prices are inversely correlated, so that means if DXY is actually going down, if it's bearish, JPYX will be bullish, as we've anticipated here, where prices will be bullish. Now, if you're anticipating to see DXY be bearish, we'll obviously anticipate to see USD JPY sell. And as we can see, it's on a resistance structure. So we'll be anticipating prices to sell, perhaps until this trend line here, somewhere down here. Euro USD, we're expecting it to buy. As you can see, it's on a support structure. It's on a support structure. So we'll be anticipating it to pump until somewhere here on this structure. Right, and then we got GU, same thing applies, same thing applies. You can see prices are having a hard time pushing lower. So we'll be anticipating to see prices pump higher. With GU, I'll be anticipating to see prices pump until the next structure, which is somewhere up here. So prices did break out of this um, range and then failed to keep on pushing lower. As you can see, prices are having a hard time pushing lower. And right now, the right here on this support structure so i'll be looking to see prices pump higher and go all the way up there um with gold obviously same thing applies prices are now on this kind of a support structure Prices are having a hard time to break below. So obviously, I'll be anticipating to see prices pump higher. Um, although with gold, I'll be anticipating to see prices first reach here because this is a very strong resistance. Like strong, like that's the highest high, I believe. Like prices haven't been able to break this. Now, if prices break that, that's a new high for gold. And it's going to be very hard to break that. So I'll just be aiming to see how prices will react until once they reach up there. So I'll just be looking for buys until prices reach about 2060 of gold. And then that will be it for gold. Um, I'll be watching to see if prices will break. Because if they do break, it will break with a crazy momentum. And sheesh, things won't be the same again with gold. So um, that's my view for the coming week. This coming week on the markets, on the Forex currency pairs. If you found value in them, please consider giving us a like, comment, subscribe, what you'd like us to improve, what you'd like us to add on, whatever. Tell us your biggest takeaway on this video. And with that being said, guys, I appreciate you for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Till next time, guys, let's have a crazy killer week. Peace.